Okay, let's start with open source topology optimization. In this case, I use Blender as a pre and post processor, and my optimizer is called Two Optics. Um, you see here some results of an optimization step, and now I'm going to show you how can we create um, this results. First of all, we need the physic. You can do it in Abacus or something else, ANSYS. And you need to import or the export is, is an Abacus f input file deck or otherwise a Calculix input file deck. And that's all what you need. And then you can start solving the process. In this case, I'll show you the exact same problem and how can we um, co um, generate this um, results. Okay, uh, let's start with a structural problem. We have a panel here and Blender is a plug-in and you can choose some iteration steps. I choose here three. Three is enough. And here's three. So after three iterations it will stop and we can look at the result. We uh, first of all do single physics so we need no thermal, we need a structural one. And if you in, in use single physics, we can jump over all these sections. And in the end, we can choose here the density selection. This means um, which part is a result of my optimization and which one is not an optimal. Let it by the default if you don't know what it's doing. Here we have some import and export settings. So. I want to import the last result in Blender and I want to improve it automatic automatically. And in this case, I want to import each, each step. So I get each result step and I can watch um, how is the solver working and how is he transforming the input. Okay, it's starting. You can see what is the solver doing. It's solving some structural problems. Here's some steps and something else. It doesn't matter what he's doing. The, the key is that he minimized the energy de um, energy density from um, strain in the structural part and he maximized the um, thermal energy in the thermal part. So we can optimize thermal problems and static or structural problems. Okay. Now the solution is finished and we get this cool structure. The key is what we really get, I can show it to you really easy. We get, if I use Blender, back and back, we get this block structure. But I use Blender for smoothing the result. Okay, really clear and interesting. Now you can use the thermal one. I want to generate the thermal problem which is listed here. I get this really crazy geometry. And now it's running again. It's a little bit faster. The thermal one doesn't need um, um, so much time. It has half of the um, variables which I can use. Okay. We see a little bit here, if you look on the, um, the output of the solver, average flux, average time flux, correction of the temperature. And we see that uh, he's um, converging, so it's, it just works for the solver. And now it's finished. And what is this? I don't know. Maybe I didn't use, I, need, I think I need more steps. In this case, I see only a block. Um, this indicates that um, my I need more iteration for the result. But I see, I think the key concept of this one. I undo it. The key concept is really clear. What should it look like? In the end, if you use I think ten or twenty iterations, you get this result and we can combine it. How can we combine it? We can use multi-physics, structural or fluid mechanics. I do structural and thermal one. This 
um, stays like before, but we can use scaling type, median or average. And which method will we choose? Weight factor or adaption? So two, two different ty type of um, um, optimization um, combina combinations. And you can look like in my master thesis, there are some description about that. We can use a weight factor. Okay, maybe we want to have um, half of the strumble one, half of the structural one. We can say use the density or the sensitivity. This means we use a gradient based um, optimization and this is a direct optimization. Then we have um, adaption. This means I can use an existing structure and add some topology on it. And we can use it with weight and we can um, pend it. So we can, in each iteration, we use another physic which should be adapted. And this account, some select um, if, um, parameters which are needed if you use um, um, adaption. Okay, that's two optics. It's quite an impressive tool and it's open source free. And you can solve some problems which this commercial code can't solve.